going to start this half hour with the rapper Offset being detained and then released by police. That's after an alleged confrontation with Trump supporters. Nine days out from the election and things are starting to get heated around the country. Right here in Beverly Hills, rapper Offset allegedly clashing with Trump supporters, his wife Cardi, Cardi B, hours before documenting pro-Trump demonstrators in the area. Seen here being detained and later released by police overnight after an alleged confrontation with Trump supporters in Beverly Hills. The 28-year-old rapper streaming on Instagram Live to roughly 30,000 people when he was stopped by Beverly Hills police. Take your right hand and turn off the I'm not doing no orders. You got guns out pointing at me, bro. In the video, Offset is seen questioning officers before refusing to step out of his car. Officials say they received information of somebody pointing a weapon at a passerby. The person gave police a license plate to the vehicle, and the vehicle was stopped by patrol units a short distance away. Hours before the altercation, with police, Offset's wife, Cardi B. Trump supporters are everywhere. Also yeah, broadcasted on Instagram Live, showing pro-Trump demonstrators nearby. Offset's publicist releasing a statement overnight, saying in part that he was detained by Beverly Hills police, quote, following an attack by aggressive Trump supporters. He was released shortly thereafter. He encourages everyone to get out and vote because nothing changes if nothing changes. Strange how they're suddenly unconcerned with incitement of political violence. Gee, I wonder if there's a reason for that. So we are eight days away from this election. If you can get out there and you can vote early, you should go do that. But otherwise, just make sure that you get out there and vote, for God's sakes. Because we're living in a country with a supposedly free press that is just actively running cover for ultra-rich, powerful left-wingers like this rapper named Offset, who is apparently married to Cardi B. Now, I wonder what could explain a supposedly reputable news agency throwing out all their credibility to defend and even promote a rapper, a guy who just waved a gun at people because of how they're voting. Of course, want free Medicare. And this is why it's important to have free Medicare, because look, look, look what's happening right now. You see why we should have been having free Medicare for a long time. I, of course, think that we need a uh, free college education. That's second. And... I want black people to stop getting killed and no justice for it. I'm tired of it. Uh, okay, now it makes sense. So according to the Daily Mail, this guy Offset gets tipped off by his wife, Cardi B, who again is one of Joe Biden's big public sponsors, that there's a bunch of Trump supporters out who were, by the way, peacefully protesting. Trump supporters are everywhere. I'm scared. I don't like it with their big ass trucks. I don't like this shit. Look at this. Look at this. Look how they walking around. With fake guns and covering their f***ing face. I don't like this shit. Did you happen to catch what her complaints there were about the Trump supporters? That they were walking and that they were carrying fake guns, also known as squirt guns, super soakers to be exact, and that their faces were covered. I thought that's what they were supposed to do. It just goes to show how these idiots are being brainwashed by the constant media fear mongering. But she's streaming to tens of thousands of people at this point and then starts ranting about Trump supporters and saying she doesn't like Trump supporters being there. Then her husband, Offset, shows up and allegedly starts waving his gun at the Trump supporters. They then took his license plate and called the police. After that, this genius decides to drive back to the Trump supporters and try to instigate some sort of confrontation and of course, the police pull him over. They tried to detain him, and of course, he resisted. The best part is he tried to throw his clout around as a rapper, saying, quote, You, guys were waving you celebrity, you know who I am? I'm offset from the Migos. What are, they, they, they're fans. That's why they're following me, bro. You brandished a gun at people simply because of who they're voting for. I mean, can you even imagine for a moment that a Trump supporter waves a gun at a Biden supporter and the mass media gives them a pass like this? No way in hell. You'll also notice that ABC News segment completely excluded the part where he's trying to throw his cloud around as a rapper and telling the cops that he's a celebrity. They had his live stream video but made a conscious choice to leave that part out. My problem with this entire piece, and no doubt 
the rest of the media is reporting on this incident is the obvious attempts to portray Offset in the most positive light possible while almost making the victims, the Trump supporters, sound like they were the aggressors. It's clear, even from ABC's watered-down reporting, that it was Cardi B who started this incident by stalking the rally and inciting a confrontation. She was essentially a drunk girl at a bar trying to get her boyfriend to beat people up. ABC News even threw in Offset's appeal to vote for Joe Biden at the end of their segment. Saying in part that he was detained by Beverly Hills police, quote, following an attack by aggressive Trump supporters, he was released shortly thereafter. He encourages everyone to get out and vote because nothing changes if nothing changes. I'm watching this and being reminded of scenes from The Running Man and They Live. It's just so dishonest, and they're obviously framing the situation to best serve the Joe Biden campaign. Since, of course, Cardi B and Offset are big public supporters of the Biden campaign. That's all for this one. Hit that like button and share this video so that everyone can see just how corrupt our supposedly free press has become. If you'd like to support this channel, you can find all those links in the description or pinned comment. Thanks for watching, everyone. Keep coming back.